hello guys hello everyone thank you all for watching this video um, remember whoops remember we all are in the age of IP man if you wanna master networking you need to master IP and everything related like in this case one of the million protocols you need to understand is TCP IP well TCP protocol IP protocol and this is a suite okay so you need to understand this suite and you need to understand these protocols today we're gonna discuss about TCP IP suite so in this video will be part number one of the TCP IP fundamentals will be part number one part number one so we're going to discuss basically what is TCP IP and what is used for and what is used for then um, why used why is used and what kind of traffic in this case we're gonna cry like technology with what kind of technology use it what kind of technology use TCP IP okay so what is TCP what is useful why is used for why is used which technologies and then uh, implicitly explain why not and which technologies they don't need it which not okay then in the part number two that will be interesting because this will be well, more like theoretical video and then this one will be more like practice video explaining the coolest question which is how TCP IP works means bit by bit we're gonna describe the, the whole datagram the whole segment and the whole data what it's going on and how everything related with TCP IP is accomplished how we're gonna use uh, how we're gonna get the understanding bit by bit we're gonna use the software called Wireshark. Wireshark is a free software tool owned by a company called Riverbed. I think it's Riverbed or Riverbed. And this free software tool allows you to watch what it's going on through your network bit by bit. Okay, so let's start with the part number one with the portion of what so TCP IP what is TCP IP okay so TCP IP is a suite of two protocols when I write AP in this way when I write TCP in this other way okay so what is TCP IP is a suite of protocols okay which TCP and IP take part so this suite what is for TCP IP is a suite for guarantee transmit traffic So if I want to guarantee that traffic or data is sent from one point to the other, I want to use this suite. So don't get confused because there was up to, I don't know, I don't know, right now I want to say like in the 70s, there was up to five different suites, Many, maybe more at least there were five completely different suites 
to accomplish this, to guarantee traffic, traffic, to guarantee traffic data. So what is TCP/IP? One of these suites, which was the winner, that allow you to warranty traffic between endpoints, between two different points. Okay, warranty traffic data between two points. Two points. That's TCP/IP. Okay. Then. Uh, is based on two protocols transport control protocol sorry transmission control protocol and internet protocol what is doing IP within this suite IP help us to find the way or find the best route to the destination so in this equation, I mean in this suite, who will find the route to the destination, the IP part? How? With an IP address. Easy, right? Seems so complicated, but after this video you will understand how easy it is. So the IP part of the TCP IP suite help us to find the route to reach the destination whoops how with an IP address what is TCP TCP is a protocol to warranty connectivity between these two endpoints with some magic let me let me move this because this is kind of like a hindrance right now. Oh, whoops. How? With something called three-way handshake. Again, what is TCP/IP? A suite. For what? For it's a suite for warranty traffic, warranty traffic, trans, to transmit traffic or data between two endpoints. How TCP/IP suite accomplished to warranty traffic and transmit traffic between two endpoints by two strong pieces, two strong protocols. One of them is IP. IP help us to find the route to the destination through IP address. TCP help us to guarantee the connectivity between these two endpoints with something called three-way handshake what will be the analogy of or what will be the counterpart of IP address for TCP IP is a port okay for IP is an IP address for TCP support if you take let's take the power of copy pasting uh, if you take IP address plus support you get a socket what is a socket? an IP address plus support okay if you don't know what is IP address at this point I highly recommend you to watch my IP in a nutshell video and then you will have a clear understanding of what is an IP address is 1, 2, 3, 4 is an IP address port 2 is a port so if you don't understand also what is port or TCP port I highly recommend you. Well, I don't want. Well, I don't have actually a port in a nutshell thing. So port is a number between zero and five, and between six five uh, five three five. Yeah. So it's a number between zero and sixty five hundred five thirty five hundred. Sorry, 
and an IP of socket it's uh, the IP plus this so an example of a socket will be 1, 2, 3, 4 column 443 great um, again recap what is TCP IP is a, a suite with the goal of guaranteed trans to transmit traffic between two endpoints. How are we going to accomplish this? We're going to use TCP and IP, which are two parts of the suite. The IP part will help us to find the route to the destination. How? With an IP address. From the TCP part, TCP is a protocol that helps us to guarantee connectivity between these two endpoints. How? With a three-way handshake. If you know with a stream of hashing, that's fine. You're in a correct video in the correct moment because you will learn in part number two. That's how TCP works, means how three hundred works, obviously. Great. Okay, guys, so let's check our topics. We already understand what is TCP IP suite, what is used for, right? What is TCP IP suite? What is used for for um, warranty uh, connectivity between endpoints, right? Why is used for? So let's check it out. Let me open this one and let's move here. And then TCP IP. Why we wanna use TCP IP? To understand why we under we need to understand the type of data. So. If you check data science, in data science they describe, also in networking, they, they describe real-time data. Whoops. In data science we have real-time data and we have batch data. Whoops. What I'm doing? Uh, batch data, right? So real-time data I think it's literally ex already explained and real-time data can be voice because it's some technology that allows you to have real-time connection, real-time traffic flow as I would call. Like if you're in, I don't know, you're in Amsterdam right now and then you want to have a discussion with someone in Machu Picchu in Peru, you need something to be able to not lose packets, right? Like voice. Voice video. Like streaming. Streaming live is real-time things. Right? And the other side, like batch data can be like data that already stored. If I want to send an email with a JPG file, it can even retransmit a thousand times, and this guy maybe doesn't care because it's not in a rush. Like, maybe can take that thousand times like a minute more, but you at least get in your email. So, example will can be media, uh, Microsoft files, Excel, Excel files, Smartsheet data sheet, excel files, okay, whatever document. So if you have understanding in data science, or at least about the data, that we have real-time data and batch data, why we're going to use TCP IP? Because we're going to guarantee to deliver traffic, whether you want to transfer batch data or real-time data okay what happens if you wanna send like a really critical file you need to guarantee that they won't arrive you cannot like like in real postal office if you wanna send a file you need to guarantee pain a tracking number 
to say, hey dude, this is the tracking number, be aware, okay? Cool. It's not the same sending an important critical packet with a tracking number without a tracking number, right? So why you want to use TCP IP suite? Because you want to guarantee that the packet will deliver. You want to get your tracking number. That's why you want to use TCP. So implicitly, why not you don't want to why not you don't want to use TCP IP when you don't need the tracking number? Okay, why? Let's take this analogy tracking number. Why not? When you don't need it, obviously. When you don't need this. Okay? So I'm kind of lazy, I'm going to copy this. When you are not, when you don't need this. So I'm going to like put it this, when you don't need this. Great. <coughs> So tracking number is a real post office delivery uh, feature, right? TCP call it different way. It's not a tracking number. It call sequence number. In the books you can check like signum. Acknowledge signum is an okay. A tracking number is an acknowledge sequence number and a sequence number that's uh, the analogy of uh, real post office to TCP IP so tracking number it will work with something called acknowledge sequence number and the sequence number okay that we will get into details about these features in the how TCP works remember we're gonna check with Wireshark and bit by bit what means with this, okay? Now my goal for you or my goal with you guys is to get like a high of the peak understanding, you know, like understanding like in data science we have real time and batch data, whether you're gonna use or the other, how you wanna transfer, why we're gonna use TCP IP? Because we need a tracking number, right? If you go to DHL and you want to send a critical packet to your girlfriend or boyfriend in case you're a girl or a boyfriend with you boy girlfriend in case you're a boy um, you pay with a tracking number what is this tracking number in TCP acknowledge sequence number and sequence number there are two different things or two different numbers we're gonna check it out in the second video why not because you're not willing or you are not aware of paying I mean you're not willing or you don't need to pay for the tracking number okay like a gift or whatever I don't know depends with the reason so basically that's the why and why not okay so now um, we already covered the why one, what kind of technologies or data, what kind of data, we, which kind of data we used. So it depends of you, basically, right? Depends of uh, your requirements, right? Then we're going to see in the second part uh, why we're not going to use the voice or video or live streaming with TCP uh, uh, protocol. So what will be the opposite of uh, TCP? We haven't talked about the opposite of TCP. TCP provides you warranty. So if you don't need warranty, you will use uh, UDP, the opposite guy, right? You can find everything related in my video. I will also put it in the comment section below. UDP in a nutshell, basically when you need a warranty, when you need to send it like um, without a tracking number as I will call it like voice or real-time data and we already also check why not or in which case we're not going to use it, the answer is UDP, right? 
I already talked about this here, so that's the answer. Okay, guys, so I think that's it in this part of the video. Like, let's check again the summary. We already checked what is TCP is one of the seat, the winner, the sweet winner in this world. That's basically the winner. What is a, a sweet winner? What is used for? For warranty communication. What is just. Why use TCP? Um, based on the understanding of the data you need to send, you will identify whether you want to use TCP or the counterpart UDP. Why not? Because you don't need something called a sequence number and an acknowledge number. When you don't need that extra warranty, so you start using some other parties such as UDP. Okay. Great guys, so thank you everyone for watching. Remember we all are in the age of IP. Visit please h5p.com for extra information. I will also upload some PDFs and everything related with the Warshark in the part number 12 put it also in that link. I'm not going to put it in in the comments uh, the files, I mean just the files and the extra information you can find on hp.com. Okay? Guys again, thank you for watching.